Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, I was getting some stuff. We're gonna do some trading here today, but before we do that, I wanna finish talking with everybody else in this place real quick. It won't take long, I think there's only a couple people left. Let's start with you. You are a cute little palace maid. You look rather flushed from the weariness of your troubles, children. If you wish, you may use this room to rest your troubled souls for as long as you required. I have prepared these beds to make your slumber quite comfortable, little ones. Does that count as calling them children? We're going to count that as calling them children. Take a drink. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sounds suspiciously triple X. Okay, yes, I'm going to choose that. Sigh. What do you take me for, sir? Can one's kind intentions never be trusted? Aw, oh, now I feel bad. Is that conversation going to happen again? Okay, we do have the option of pretending that never happened. How kind of you to offer? Dusk admiringly says, She sounds almost just like a mother. It is the most gracious of you to provide refuge for us in our wary states, miss. Yeah, right. Why don't you see if she'll also sing you off to a sleep with a lullaby as a compliment to that offer, Dusk? Disgusted sigh. Yay! I don't actually know if we need it healed, but yay! So this is a place where we can get healed for free, huh? Neat. Oh, you were the only one left, huh? Huh, okay. Hmm. Actually, that would have been in a good place for an episode break. Take a rest and a break. An episode break. Okay, time for some trading. Oh, actually, let's let's back up a bit here. So in order to start that cutscene to meet the king and queen, we had to talk to the princess who was standing here. Makes me wonder if I could have gone inside and not talked to the princess. I probably would have been allowed, but the princess is properly required for talking with the king and queen. Okay, let's get this started. Let's buy some rice. Specifically, we need... 30 bags. We need 30 bags of rice in order to get the stuff that I want. From here, we need to go to the chicken guy and get 20 chickens. One at a time. Trade one bag of rice for a chicken? Yes. And we already had this conversation, so I don't need to read that. It is a bummer that we have to do this one at a time, by the way. There is no way to do this sort of trading and knowing exactly how many we have. RPG Maker 1, from a developer perspective, does not tell you exactly how many, for example, bags of rice the player might be carrying. So your only option is to know that they have at least one, and so trade only one at a time. So that's one. That's two. That's three. By the way, in order to skip the dialogue that fast, that is four, I am rotating the directional pad. That is five. 19. Let me double check. Yep, 19. And 20. And from here, we need goat skin. I feel sorry for the goats, but we need to. I actually really like goats, especially the floppy eared kind. They are adorable. Recently slaughtered herd of goats. Sound just a bit too happy 
for someone who slaughters goats. Good thing Mr. Sarah's not here. But yes, we will get some. We need 10. Obtained one equivalent of goat skin. What do we need in all for this? A bag of rice and one chicken. Okay. So, giving away one bag of rice and one chicken for one goat skin. Oh, uh, there's a uh, Captain William waiting for us to go on the quest to rescue Paprika. Okay, we got the ten goat skins. Okay, to the right, we need four ancient coins. One rabbit foot and one equivalent of goat skin. So we're trading all four rabbit foot to you. For an ancient coin. So there's one. Two. Three. Four. Let's see here. We still have some goat skins left. So from here, we got the ancient coins from Scrooge. Now let's go to Glomgold. And we need six nuggets. I assume using the remaining six goat skins. Let's see... A nugget? Okay, we're getting nuggets. For gold skin, chicken, and trout. So one... Hold on a sec, there was more dialogue, wasn't there? Two... Thanks, man! Holler at your boy Scrooge two tears down for me when you see him, okay? Six. And that'll have gotten rid of all of our goat skins. So we're now, now we have six nuggets. Next we need to go to the right of the chicken guy and get ourselves four wines. Fancy wine straight from the Oriental region. For one gold nugget and one ancient coin. And we need four wines. So, one. If this guy was telling the truth, then Tessera had better be on guard the next time she sees Lynn. Who knows what he might say, might try. Right, context? This wine is good for the ladies, and meeting the ladies and that sort of thing. Lynn glares. I really don't think that that I really don't think that is going to work out quite like that anyway, man. Dusk glares harder. Not to mention that Mr. Sarah is not a lady to be subject to such sameful suggestions. That was just about a tongue twister there. Two so now we should have four wines. Yep. Oh! By the way, fancy wine recovers for uh, 100 MP. That's kind of nice. Now we go to this guy. Trade a chicken, an isky trout, and one equivalent of fancy wine for some spring water? You are straightforward. Okay, I need four spring waters. This much for some lousy water? Next thing you know, we'll have to start paying up just for the freaking air. I am not a fan of bottled water myself. I will drink it whenever we're under a boil order. Thankfully, those don't happen too often. Otherwise, I am perfectly fine drinking straight from the tap. Uh, well, not like straight straight from the tap. It has to be put in a glass first. So spring water, by the way, heals 200 HP. That is really nice. 
Okay, so we have the spring water. Now, far left of the entrance, we need two silk sheets. Will you trade a gold nugget and one equivalent of spring water for a silk sheet? I might make a nice present for your girlfriend. There we go. Perhaps I should come back later by myself and purchase another one to give to Miss Sarah. She seems like the type of the girl who would fancy such things. But perhaps that is a little too forward. So that's one. And two. We need two silk sheets. Uh, where, th where did it wind up? There they are. They don't do anything special. However, this is really interesting. If you wanted to use this place to grind for some money, this is what you want to trade up to. It takes a little bit of time, but just one of these silk sheets you can sell for 3,200 gold. And it is exactly with this that I managed to grind up over a hundred thousand gold whenever I streamed this game the first time. Now I said that this was an exploit, but the guide actually makes a mention of grinding for money in this place, so it's not an oversight. The reason why I call it an exploit is because whenever I did this the first time, Lantis, one of the game's creators, was a little bit annoyed at me. So that is why I'm not taking advantage of it this time. Anyway, we're not actually using this for money, as I was just now saying. We actually want to trade this to get... Would you like a jewel band for the price of one silk sheet and an equivalent of spring water? Yes. Now we have the means to get one of the sword hilts from the doors over there. Hehe, <laughs> sorry, I guess you will just have to find another present to win Sarah's heart desk. It looks like we've had to use this silk sheet for another purpose. And in fact, we're going to do the same with the other one. And sure enough, this will allow us to get the hilts that we need, well, a couple hilts anyway, that we need in order to get the best weapons in the game. However, I actually want to use these right now. The Jeweled Band has a guard of 20. Effectively, by Dusk equipping this, it means he's going to take 10 less points of damage from physical attacks. Which is why I'm giving him 2, if the cursor would not glitch out like that. So, that's going to be really helpful for our healer. Honestly, I could just give everybody on our team these weapon or these items, but considering how many enemies use magic, defense is not going to be terribly helpful for that situation. I'm just giving him to Dusk for the sake of he needs to focus on surviving attacks. With that said, let's go ahead and fix everybody else up here. Give you those so your attack will be stronger. And we'll also get some more equipment. Let's start with some armor for Harrison. Because he doesn't have any. So looking at the guide real quick. Uh, Harrison, you get knight armor. I believe you're the one that sells it. Yep, so Knight Armor for Harrison.
So that'll boost your defense by a pretty decent amount, I'm pretty sure. So, let's see here. So, armor 12. So, that's a uh, 6 less points of damage. Not a lot, but every little bit helps. Okay, what else do I want to buy? Not gonna buy Shadow Mail for Lin, if Lin is gonna be removed from the team. I will have to make note, and in fact, literally, I'm making note. We will have another opportunity to buy him armor, thankfully, so don't have to worry about buying it right now. Save a little bit of money in that situation. Okay, what else? Well, uh, let's see what we... Oh, we were already there. Let's see what we got here. So we already have a kitty's cape. How about the protest cloak? We don't have one of those. Let's buy one of those then. Protest cloak. And I believe I have an item for double checking this here. Identity book, check items. Does this have a spell? No, it is not actually having a spell. That is just flavor text. That would have been nice. Okay, cloth boots. Platina glove. Well, we could buy a couple more of those, I suppose. Yeah, I'm, I'll buy a couple more platina gloves. No, I'm not. Kind of out of money there. Unless I sell some things. Um, let's see. I don't. No, I'm not gonna get the boots. Okay, in order to get one platina glove, I need 230 gold. I'm pretty close to affording that right now. Hopefully, I do not regret selling a thing. So... Oh! Hold on a sec. Let's, let's, let's double check here. That That is worth a lot of money. You sure you don't need that, Harrison? Oh, right, right. You can't use it anymore because you're not a chicken. Let me... Okay, I'm gonna check something in the guide here. If anybody else can equip it. Harrison is the only character who can equip that. Except not anymore. He's only able to use it as a chicken. So, of course I'm gonna sell that. That's worth some good money there. All right. Gimme. And I'll probably give those to Willy whenever he joins. Because Lynn, I'm not equipping anything right now. That it? Mm. Well, I have a little bit of extra money. Let's see about healing items. What do you have? You have Itsuki Trouse. Those are good items. 50 HP. I got plenty of Dew Clovers. Root beers are getting kind of outdated. Yeah, I'm gonna buy... I can only afford six. What do the other shops have? I know there were two other shops here. Let me double check what they have. Root beer, Esther's Ale. Oh, those are even better. I might buy those instead. Dew Clover. You have sugar clovers? Ooh. Mmm, expensive though. Let's focus on the ale, perhaps. I'll buy one angel feather, and then the rest I'll spend on Nether's ale. Is there anything I can afford with the remaining amount of money that I have? Yes. Antidotes? Yes. In fact, I think I'm actually going to sell something else here so that I can get some more of those. How about the Alistor? Who can equip the Alistor? Alistor. 
It's an Uri weapon. And only Uri. Well, he's not using it now. And more antidotes, please. Thank you very much. I'm good. Okay, there is not a place here to save, I notice. The inn girl did not offer the chance to save. So I think the only option at this point is to go out and see Willy. Uh, and then I'll have to figure out what to do with his equipment. Actually, I think he actually has something on him, doesn't he? He has something on him before, anyway. Well, I can worry about that later, though. Let's just get him on the team so I can save and quit here. Good luck, everyone. We'll be waiting for your safe return. Yeah, we'll be back before you know it, dude. You, Bliss, and Rachel look after things here while the three of us are gone, alright? Um, is it alright that I go with them as well, Lin? I just feel as though I should for some reason. Foreshadowing. You'll be fine without me for the time being. Right? Uh, sure. That's something you have every right to decide on your own. But Liz and I can handle everything by ourselves just fine. Okay, well, after that I apparently had to bump into William in order to continue with this part. I'm certain that me little Paprika would be proud to know that she has such loyal laddies like yourselves as her friends. Thank you all again for making such a sacrifice as to risk further endangering Nareka just to help me, and on a rather perilous quest at that. Let's just hope Paprika will have the resourcefulness and steel nerves to handle herself in monster-infested territory until we can get there ourselves. The part about steel nerves is what I'm worried about. Miss Paprika is not exactly the first person that comes to mind in that case, I fear. Well, the sooner we can get to Ebony Fields, the better a chance we've got at saving her from getting squashed by a monster. I assume those strange lurking b birds standing over there by the gates are the modes of transportation that were reserved for us? Let's go, everyone. Let's go back to me Pier for the Rosalina first. I have an idea. And now the Meryl William has joined the party. And unfortunately, we do not see, we do not get to see the not chocobos that we will be riding for this journey. Kind of a shame, but it's not like they had any room for more character sprites. They used all the character slots for this game. So it's kind of a whatever on that. A bummer, but whatever. Anyway, we are done for today. Next time, we will make our way to the Ebony, whatever the place was called, and fix things up with some stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. Now, is there anybody that I want to send a raid to? There actually is a couple options. Let's go Eeny Meeny Miny Mo. Let's go ahead and send a raid to Kalex, who is currently playing Luigi's Mansion 3. And I will say thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next one.